Hello, it's Carla from Scrap and Create, and welcome to Christmas in July. I wanted to come on and show you this new newest album I made. It's an eight and a half by eight and a half album with a two and a half inch spine using one of my favorite paper collections from last season. And I did not have time to make a full mini, mini album from it, so I am now. It's Chow Bella's Dear Santa. And I will go through at the end of this video all the paper that I used, so you know exactly what I used. So my idea was to make a shaker card using one of the images from the collection and make Santa flying through the snow with that shaker card. So that was my idea. So you can kind of see the shaker elements. It's hard with all all that glare, but that was my idea. So I think it came out pretty cute. So that's the shaker card. Here's the rest of the front cover. And the spine has a wrapped chipboard. And what I did with this chipboard, I punched two holes on the top here and threaded this ribbon through it. So I thought that looked really, really pretty. And in the back, is just this. So let's have a peek inside. It's held closed by a, a ribbon. Oh, I wanted to show you. There are only three signatures in here. One, two, three. There's five eighths of an inch gusset in between all of them. But what I did is I made these large elements on the inside front cover and inside back cover. So that's that's what you're going to see. So let's look at that inside front cover. So this inside front cover has a large flap. Now, I did some fussy cutting out with this image. There's Santa, you can see Santa holding a lantern here and the Christmas tree over to the side here. This is all fussy cut out, and it's backed on some craft card stock to make a little pocket here. So that is the element there, the fussy cut element. And inside that pocket, I just cut some pieces from the collection and put them in here. And if you're going to be giving this to somebody, you can put a little to and from tag and that would go in here too. So I just thought that was a good introduction to the album. And then we have a pull tab here. So this is a magnetic closure. We're going to open that pull tab. So we open that pull tab and we come to this part of the inside um, front cover. I call this my letters post office mailbox part. So everything here has to do with letters, the post office. So up here is covered in the paper that has all the letters. And my idea for this, this will hold a five by seven. So every year we do a family card, this five by seven. I am going to put that there. That's just a great place to showcase your family right off the bat, family right there. And then we come to the middle section and we come to this pocket. Here's our mailbox, North Pole Post Office. And inside this mailbox, this paper has more letters here. And then I just pulled elements from the collection that look like they belong in a mailbox. This, this piece. Here looks like a, a little envelope to Santa Claus. Dear Santa, this is just the paper from the collection. This is the 12 by 12. This is the eight by eight. And I just cut this and made it into a large tag. So that all fits in here. And down here, there, there's a flap that goes down this way too, held by a magnet. So when you pull this flap down, you come to this little pocket, it says North Pole Post Office, and we have another little envelope that goes to tucks in here. 
So this is our North Pole letters and envelope section. Then we come to our official page one. Now these two pages are color coordinated, so they just kind of flow right into each other, or at least that was my idea. We have a magnetic closure. There's going to be a flap here and this flap. Now this flap is holding a, a cutout from the collection, the Santa image, and I just mounted it on black cardstock, adhered it on three sides, made it into a pocket, and then I just put another tag. You've got lots of tags that you can make in this from this collection. So that will go here. Then we open this little flap. We have this green, green gigam. Here it says Christmas is the time of year. I love this little tag right here. And this opens. We have a half circle gold, half circle piece here. Pull that. And we come to this inside image. This is a large pocket that was constructed from the eight by eight paper. I didn't want to cut into this image because I just love the homey message of this, this image. So I made it into a large, this is a large pocket. That's a large pocket. And here I have an insert. This is a six by seven insert. You can make a booklet too. It's got plenty of room. So I made, made this photo mat. It's got a large tech, tuck spot and I cut this image from the collection so lots of room in there and then this gingham just kind of matches the gingham on the flaps that closes that closes and then we have our magnetic flap then we come to page two and three now two and three these these are our blue pages obviously so over here we have another large another large pocket. I wanted to use this image. This is from the 12 by 12 of the the reindeer flying through the air. I just love that image. So I wanted to use that and not cover it up. Made a pocket, used another cutout from the collection and made it into a little pocket and put in another one of their cutie little tags that goes in there. And in the pocket, I just made a photo mat. So there's the photo mat. It just kind of goes in there. There's more room for more inserts there. And over on this side, we come to a gatefold. Now this gatefold, magnetic closure again, is going to be holding a waterfall. I loved this image from the collection, the snowman by the house. Didn't want to cut into them, so made one, two, three, four, five flaps of the waterfall. And then here we come to our snow village. So plenty of room down here if you want to do something down here too. There's our waterfall, this flap, I added this little image, looks like a door, so I wanted it to be like opening a door to the house. So we have that little flap there. And then on this side, we have a matching flap on this side. So this closes, and this closes, and that's pages two and three. Then we come to page four and five. Again, these are all coordinating with one another so the colors just kind of coordinate with each other. Another small smaller gatefold with a pocket down here. So here I was more pulling into the Christmas tree and rocking horse imagery. I just love that little rocking horse. We have a little ribbon pole here with a magnetic closure and we come to this paper which has our little rocking horse down there. This is from the eight by eight. We have our little flaps on each side here. And here we have this big pocket. And I just cut another Christmas tree image from the collection. You can obviously put lots more in this pocket. That goes there. This closes up. This has a magnet. 
and there is what this looks like at that pocket. I just love that Christmas tree and that paper. Then we come to this page. Beautiful classic Christmas page here. So this image is just uh, uh, made into a flap and it is matted with this beautiful paper. I loved that bird paper right there. This is holding this closed. This is, some people call it a peekaboo pocket. Some people call it a modified belly band. So there's like kind of a belly band. This is a pocket. This is a half an inch scored pocket on two sides here. Nothing up front, so it's held by this belly band. So you can put stuff in and out of this pocket. I made an insert um, using one of the images and just matted it like that. And then that just slides into this peekaboo pocket, belly band pocket, whatever you like to call it. I think it looks really nice. And then we go to page, that was, what was this? This is page six, five, and four. This four and five, and here's page six. Oops, I've lost one of my little things. So this is our last, our last page. So we have uh, another cut apart from the collection made into a flap. It's opening up this gatefold. And I have number 25 because now it's Christmas. And then I just put a little bag of toys behind that. So that just kind of cut that out. That just kind of goes in there. And then we're going to open this with this ribbon pole. And we come to the centerpiece here, which has this image. It's the same village, but now this is the 12 by 12, so much bigger scale here. And I use this card from the collection, Santa flying through this village, same village, put him here. You have lots more room. This is a deep, deep pocket. So you've got lots more room to put anything else you want in here. And then you have these little folds. Now these, these little half circles, they're not adhered all the way down, so you can um, slip something underneath here. But these are to tell you that you need to open these up. So you open these up and then you come to these eight by eight images. So here is the almost the complete eight by eight image of Santa flying away at night by through over the moon, through the moon, on top of the moon, whatever, flying. And here on the opposite side is Santa. To me, this is Santa coming to the village. Here he's coming, and here he's leaving. These are just such beautiful images. I did not want to cut them, so I just made them, kept them whole, and made them into these little flaps. And then this closes, and then we come to our back inside panel. This is a squared off accordion pocket. And we open our flap here, and this is a deep, a deep pocket. So this will hold lots of stuff. My idea was to put all of your Christmas cards that you get from friends and family in here. And I also, with uh, the leftovers that I had, I made this little journal. And it's, it's, I don't know what size this is. I think this is five and a half by seven. Five and a half by seven. And all it is, is Folding four pieces of paper together. One, two, three, four. Fold them together. Fold them over, fold them together. It's a three hole pamphlet stitch. So not a very hard pamphlet stitch. And I, I sewed them into 85 pound black cardstock. And then I just trimmed all the edges all around and then got some leftovers that I had from the collection and matted it, matted this image. And this, these were just scraps that I had, added the journal part down here and added some more of my cut, what I had left over there. 
So I thought that was a good idea. If you want to do some journaling, you can do that and that will stay in here. So that is my take on the Chow Bella Dear Santa. So, but let me show you the paper that I used and that if you're going to make this, you will need these paper pads. First is the, the 12 by 12 core paper pad. So like Stamperia, this only has one each of double images, double-sided paper. So you'll, you'll need one of these. You will need one of their, they call it patterns pad. So you will need one of these. Again, one each of eight double-sided papers. You'll need one of these. You will need one creative pad. I used a lots of images from this creative pad. So again, one each of nine double-sided papers. They're A A4 creative pad. And then their core eight by eight paper pad. You will need two of these because we did pull off two images. We needed both sides of the paper basically. So you'll need two of these. But that's, that's what you will need. And we have these, so I'll have the link below. So that's my take on Child Bella's Dear Santa. So I love this little album. Let me know what you think, and happy crafting. Bye.